Artguru makes it possible for you to export any of your projects using what are called RGR files, giving you the ability to share your analysis with other Artguru users or simply for archiving your work. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to export and import reports using these RGR files. And by the end of this video, you will have the power to share your work at any stage and reproduce your projects in the exact structure you left them in. Let's begin by exporting some graphs that I've created using the card dataset from the RGuru User's Guide repository. Here I've created a box plot to get a good overview of the distribution of the variable miles per gallon for the seven different classes of cars. I've also created a histogram for the distribution of miles per gallon. Now I can export these plots individually or both of them together. Let's do both of them together. Step one is to save the plots to my RGuru account. Let's save the box plot as miles per gallon per car class. And the histogram as histogram of miles per gallon. Step two is to scroll over to the plots area and create a new folder. I'm going to title this folder MPG plots. Now you could either copy the two plots into this folder or simply drag and drop them into the new location. Step three is to now export your plots. Right click on the newly created folder miles per gallon plots and within the pop-up you'll see the export as RGR. Once you've selected this option, a RGR file will start downloading immediately to your download folder in your computer. I'm going to put this RGR file in a place where I can easily find it later. Now at this point, my two graphs have now been exported with their original parameter settings and their corresponding data set. Anyone who I share this file with can import and continue working on these plots exactly where I left off. Now at this stage, I could import the miles per gallon plots I've created. However, I'd like to switch gears and import a report sent to me by my friend Riley. From the data toolbar, scroll over to the data import dropdown, then click on RGR. You're then going to be prompted to choose the RGR file you would like to import. I'm interested in importing Riley's RGR file titled Plant Growth ANOVA. Click open, and then hit upload. Arguru will tell you that it has successfully imported and archived the RGR file by giving it a unique title defaulted as imported underscore today's date and time. Do note that the date and time of import is in Greenwich Mean Time, so if your times don't match, you'll understand why. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now with importing this RGR file, you'll notice I'll have two saved files saved with this unique name. One located in the dataset section within the data folder, and another in the analytics section under the reports folder. As I mentioned earlier, RGR files contain both the graphs and reports along with the data sets that they're generated from, if any. Also note that once you've imported an RGR file, you're free to move any of the objects outside of the encapsulated folder. You can also rename and edit any of the objects as well. Now let's open this report and see what Riley has sent me. Riley's report has a data summary breakdown, an ANOVA table with p-value and base factor bound, a box plot of treatment groups, a residual versus fitted plot, a QQ plot, Levine's test of equality of variances, Tukey's honestly significant difference test, and confidence intervals to go with the post hoc test. This looks great. Something I'd also be interested in seeing is if there were any potential outliers in the observations for this predicted variable. Adding and removing components from an imported RGR file is easy. By hitting the Basics button and scrolling down to Diagnostics, I can add or remove pieces of this report as I see fit. I like the information on Riley's report, so I don't want to remove anything. I'm just going to add a Cook's Distance plot to see if there were any potential outliers. By hitting the preview icon, 
we have now added a new visual to Riley's report. This visual might give Riley reasons to further explore observations 4, 15, and 17. Maybe she would like to check whether those observations have eye influence on the results. I could export this modified ANOVA and send it right back to Riley. That's the beauty of RGR files. They allow you to share and collaborate with others. If you would like further details and examples on how to import and export RGR files, we encourage you to reference the chapter Import, Organize, and Export Data from our user's guidebook.